Uh, we think the next generation of wealth is most likely going to be made from the result of this recession, unfortunately. But for investors who have liquid liquidity, good credit, um, what advice would you give to them right now to maximize you know, their, their, their growth potential? I would say uh, go into the market. Buy, buy, buy. And, and, <laughs> and get educated and see what's out there. Be conservative. Mm -hmm. uh, there will and are opportunities. And, um, and, and weigh the types of properties you want to invest in. Um, stabilized type of properties, uh, uh, consumer rental type properties okay. are over the long term the, the, the safest. But uh, as far as com commercial properties, you know, if, if it's smaller stores that uh, general re retail would uh, rent, those are good. Certainly um, credit rated tenants, although those are getting few and <laughs> far between. Um, but I would certainly stay away from anything that has risk or uncertainty in the long run, especially now. Okay, great. And gentlemen, do you have anything you'd like to add about? Uh, well, I'm uh, oh, sorry, go ahead, Sam. I, I was just gonna say, I mean, getting back to our discussions about some of the different, uh, the short sales, the list pendants and all that. Uh, I think what that should point out, though, to people is that is that this is a complicated market too right, right. now. Okay, and and I think you have to be careful, as, as Henry was saying, as to what you're getting into. And so this is a plug, I guess. I think mm -hmm. I think you need people who who can help you do that. Okay, and so I don't think it's it's a time for people necessarily to jump on this totally on their own. You know, un, uneducated. I think you need people uh, who can support you. you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, our, our members are realtors and we're trained to do that and I think that's important to, to have that. I, obviously you have to have you know, appraisers and, and, and lenders who also can help and, and there are people out there who do that, but I think you gotta talk to people before you jump in, yeah. before you make mistakes. And, and, and um, a lot of people unfortunately have not done that in the past and gotten hurt mm -hmm. and this is a good time, this is a time when you can get hurt okay, yeah. if you do the wrong thing. So I think you gotta talk to all of the players involved to make sure that you're making the right move when you do it. Sure, you know, consult lawyers, uh, real estate brokers, or lenders, like you said. You know, I think a lot of people, um, you know, when they kind of jumped in initially, they didn't understand all the, you know, the processes involved, and unfortunately, this is, you know, one of the outcomes of that. Mm -hmm. Just to stress Henry's point, um, uh, you gotta stay away from the less risky uh, instruments that are out there. And what that means is you gotta be able to accept a reasonable rate of return, not mm. what we call a sexy re rate of return. <laughs> A reasonable rate of return. Well, you're getting a good return on your money, but you have a stable, conservative asset that's going to appreciate over time for you. Okay. The risky stuff can be here today, gone tomorrow, as evidence of what we've been seeing right. the last few years. Great. And I also say right now appraisers are, are very important because there aren't, uh, there's not a lot of data out there. Mm -hmm. And somebody with the experience, with an independent look at a piece of real estate is very, very helpful in this marketplace. Sure, especially now with everything, uh, you know, like you mentioned before about the appropriate, uh, you know, appraisal. It's very difficult to kind of judge on your own what a property is worth. So getting the help of a professional like yourself right. um, would be a very big. Uh, There's bonus. also uh, a false comfort. There, there are a number of websites that are out there that anybody can access, <laughs> and unfortunately, the problem, especially in this market, is garbage in, garbage out. Mm. People should not rely on. Uh, websites that you're not paying anything for and believe that the information they're giving you is the best information. Sure. All right. Uh, and let, me, let me just add Absolutely. on to that. I, I happen to have been looking at some, some websites recently and, and, and some things and there are websites right now that are that are valuing properties that sold three months ago mm -hmm. uh, at, at 30 and 40 percent higher than what they sold for which obviously doesn't make any sense wow. in this market, but, but the way those websites are programmed, mm. um, what they're looking at is you know, historical rates, but they haven't factored in the downturn yet. Mm -hmm. So people have to be very careful when they look at these websites. They're just, they're just not what they're, what they're, right. what they're I mean, sold as. Everything is changing so quickly nowadays that you, know, you need something that's really up to date and uh, really accurate. So uh, an actual person probably is the, you know, the best An actual person that. sometimes helps, yeah. yes. Yeah. All right, great. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for everything. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Pleasure, thank you very much, and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. much.